Robert Webb and Simon Day join us now. It's, it, we were talking about this earlier, and what's, what's interesting, because of course we know your comedy, Simon, and we know the history of the character, and with your brand new comedy, it's the, 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 the difference in, in the roles that the women play in those comedies. You've got an ex-wife who's trying to control uh, the situation with uh, alimony and, 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 and the sort of the payments, and then, you know, your character, Alf Garnett's got a wife who's sort of constantly just putting the dinner on the table and then and giving him... Yeah, but she constantly takes the mickey out Absolutely, of him. yeah, yeah. And, and when we recorded it, she was getting all the laughs. I think that's how it's, <laughs> it's changed. The yeah. studio audience, they were a bit, you know, should we be laughing at him, shouting? It's a guilty But laugh. they really laughed at her stuff. And if you watch the original show, she continually digs him out without ever really confronting him and turning it into an argument. That's the genius of the writing, I think. Were you nervous about yeah. doing it? Because of, because of the, the history and, and, and the sort of how we remember the original? Well, I mean, the, the script they, they've got is an original script that was wiped, which is why they did it, and it's not remotely racist. It's just him being pathetic and shouting. <laughs> and I was more concerned about, you know, obviously you're never going to do it as well as Warren Mitchell or, or do it how people remember it. As a comedic actor <laughs> that's, that's doing all sorts of comedy now, was, do you remember those sitcoms? And do you remember those fondly? Are, are they sort of sitcoms that you sort of... Uh, not so much that one. Um, although I thought I thought um, Warren Mitchell was amazing, but that wasn't one of my favourite shows. But the, but the sort of older, you know, Porridge and uh, all those and Dad's Army, I, I loved all that. Yeah, um, and yeah. people sometimes say, you know, should we not make room for new, newer comedy uh, and you know, sort of give new writers a chance? But yeah. There is a lot of remakes, aren't there? So are you being served? Is yeah, is Porridge. Yeah. Of that coming back? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm generally I'm all for new stuff and. Uh, that, that's usually the, the best way to go because it's very rare that you get something right, and so you, you know there should be lots of opportunity to get it <laughs> to get it wrong. Is there a uh, is there a sense that if these work well enough, they could well bring back either of them for for a full series? I don't think they'll bring back Alf Garnet. I think times have changed so much. I mean, and I did it. It's like a Beckett play. It's filmed on the original set. It's it's so of its time. Obviously, they come and say you want to do twelve episodes. I should have to consider it. <laughs> You're <laughs> to my go wife. Take it, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But um, I doubt it. You know, I think who knows. But my ex-wife is a pilot, and we do have our fingers crossed <laughs> that it will work. <laughs> yes. And, and it seems like it's got all, all well, the right. Is it written by somebody who was behind The Simpsons? I've yes, read that. Yes. Uh, Julie Thacker Scully was a senior writer on The Simpsons for a long time. Um, wow. So we had to translate some of the swearing uh, <laughs> for her. Um, but uh, otherwise, it was very. It was uh, yeah. It was amazing when I heard that she was um, doing it. Yeah. It's, it's very reassuring when you've got someone who used to work on The Simpsons. It's been great. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us this morning. I'd quickly say you can, of course, you can. Uh, I'm in a play. It depends what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm in a play. Uh, it starts tonight. It's called uh, Waiting for Waiting for Godot at the St James's Theatre. It's an hour long. It's a comedy about two understudies waiting to go on stage. It's very funny. Written by an American, writes for Amy Schumer. It's hilarious. He did two shows yesterday and he's got a press night tonight. Goodness me. I'm shattered. Right early. Some Darling. But it's very funny and it's only an hour and ten minutes long and the top ticket price is 20 quid. Oh my god. Nicely idiot. done. At least they're, so it's not, so it's, they're, they're the understudies of the characters playing Waiting Yes, we're two understudies, very bitter understudies, waiting, waiting to, to get their chance. Fantastic. Yeah. It's felt like my life. Brilliant. <laughs> and there's this bit at the end where I just say, ask me any question you like, and people start telling me about their parents mm. and their family secrets, and, and then part of the show is about dementia as well, because my dad has dementia, so they start telling me about that. And it's sort of wonderful in a way. It's a bit group therapy. It's a little bit American at some mm. level, but it's actually really, really nice and still funny, I think. Mm. Talking about funny, so you've got your book.